Uh, we'll make a quick trip to the blacksmith and salvage the items we have currently. Sometimes we won't know how long it'll be between blacksmiths. Don't want an inventory to fill up. When, just as I close the screen, it looks like I had no uh, weapon or totem equipped, and I panicked for a second. Really expected these cities to be much more, um, to, for there to be a lot more player characters in it. Ah, oh, yeah, so that's the thing. Um, if you teleport to pretty much anywhere, and then leave that area via something that's not the teleport, well, actually if you leave via the teleport as well, it'll actually close that portal. And the detail in here is great, like the carpet's got rumbles in it. See that the kitchen is ready for the morrow service. Angels above, you've returned. Sure have. The Reverend Mother will want to hear of this, but she's away at Corvalar. Seek your blessing there. Everything is unfolding as Inarius foretold. Soon, he will be free to escape sanctuary and return to the heavens where he belongs. Oh. <clears throat> I mean, shouldn't he help us with Lilith first if he's so great? Right, where are we going? I've forgotten already. Uh, so we can go there. Or there. Oh, right, because it said that shed um, headed off to call the Lilith. So we might head this way. Uh, which will probably be easy to travel to the waypoint and head up. Oops. So there are 28 altars of Lilith. So the fact that we've only found one so far, and it was one that was just handed to us on a silver platter. Um, probably means we should be exploring a little bit more. Oh, I forgot to make more elixirs as well. Nice big group there for an AoE. Hey, we got our first, um... First Renown reward. Let's so open our map. See our renown reward here. So you can see here the ways that you unlock them all. Um, so every waypoint you can collect, every stronghold you defeat, which is something that I've not seen yet, not even in the beta. Side quest completed, areas discovered, uh, side dungeons, and altars of Lilith. So we'll claim that. Get a skill point. Nearly could get one in there, so we'll just finish leveling off this. Uh, going up to 100 to 122 damage, average of 105%. Uh, sorry, taking 105% from our weapon damage. on some of those elites and stuff. Furlined hood, so huge amount of extra armor, plus one rank of wolves, so we will be getting wolves in our next level anyway, so this is an amazing find for right now. Uh, maximum spirit's great as well, so we'll chuck that on. And then in our abilities, uh, there is a hotkey for this, I can't remember what it is. In our abilities, we're just going to assign this slot 2 and there they come in so this is literally the ability we were picking up next level anyway so what a crazy amazing client now yeah. um 
Oh, so we're going to search the whole area. That's fine. We'll start walking around some of the outsides as well, because I presume that's where we'll find some altars of Lilith, if there are any in this particular area. How much damage do these walls do? 7 to 9 damage. That's actually quite pathetic. Ah, oh, you can target it. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. So it kind of works like a nuke as well, by pressing the 2. That'll be great for elites. One of the really cool things is with that, um, when you hit four enemies and it immobilizes on the landslide, is if you've got a group of more than four enemies, it just automatically drops. line there. Finding way. There's all the dudes. Looks like they're very slow. A lot of health though. How much damage do these wolves do? Oh, that's a big hit. Just need to remember to use it. Ten second cooldown on as well. It's about the same as my uh Better than Bulwark, but defensive ability. I'm gonna switch to this an auto pick up item, uh, button for items. I mean, actually, there might be. I might have to level a little bit after the stream. Oops. Casually cast a landslide in the middle of nowhere. These wraiths, um, I encountered them during the later, and they're very annoying, so you would have just seen, I totally failed to dodge it, there was a red sort of uh, rectangular AoE on the ground. Um, they effectively pull you towards it, um, which momentarily disables your character, but also pulls you into danger properly. Oh, it looks like my wolves died. I wonder how long it takes for them to respawn. It doesn't seem like very long, so that's good. Maybe it's when you leave combat. Got any... oh. Oh, where are we heading? Does it say how much health they have? No. Their amount of health is probably linked to mine as well. Yay, another level. Alright, so. As I mentioned, we were going to be picking up wolves next. Um, now, there are some other things in here that I was going to pick up. Um, I believe it was this one, Nature's Reach, which increases our damage to distant enemies, although based on how we're playing, maybe we're not so good at keeping them distant, however, doubling the bonus if they're slow to stun and mobilize, so that's great because we do a lot of that, we can back away and then hit it for 6% uh, increased damage at that point. Um, however, because I may replace the helm shortly, I will pick up the natural point in this. Oh, 
not this way. Oh, there's chest there. Anything good? Crew cudgel. Great damage per second. Plus 4% core skill damage. So the core skills our um, right click, uh, which at the moment is our main damage dealer. 8% um, overpower damage. So this is 100 to 122, this is 16 to 19. We will pop that on. Huge increase there. Huge increase there as well, so that's definitely a better option. Once again, we'll just pop that totem to the side um, in case we pick up a, a single handed weapon that we can then equip with. Um, as I mentioned when we were do looking at the upgrade stuff, the, the item that we upgraded, we've already replaced it. So that 500 gold is obviously now lost to us, um, which is why early on in the game it's almost certainly not a good idea to be upgrading a lot of your uh, equipment. Um, you might like get an early legendary drop, at which point you might want to upgrade it so that the stats stay relevant for longer. Right, and this way. How much damage do our walls do now? And that weapon was a huge increase in damage. Good, because those big increases improve our clear speed. The faster we kill things, the less damage we take. Traversal here. Oh yeah, that's a cool one. Oh, that one shot on the wood ray. Fantastic. Um, heading this way. Also, that looks like a one-way traversal, which I didn't even realise existed. I, like, I thought all of them you could go back into forwards. Oh, there's one of those wraiths. Just land slide of a dead of uh, a wraith. Ah, uh, not wraith. Um, whatever the wood things are called. Solid gameplay. Landslide them. Alright. Yeah, that wolf damage is great. We can't get these guys closer together so that we could hit them all at once with a single landslide. Oop. Just rebuilding our spirit there. New helm. Just terrible compared to what we're wearing. Big boys here. Ah, and I'm trapped. Ah, oh, they've all got their own affixes, they're not just minions. So, the Gravewood Wraith, I assume, is the one that's making the um, walls. Frozen one, so you'll spawn these little white orbs on the floor that'll explode. And I don't know what the other two were. Alright, so this totem is, by the looks of it, better than the one we had. Swap those over. And we don't want that. So where was the one-handed item? 
there. So that plus that is now slightly more damage than slightly less on the landslide but more on a lot of our other skills but barely potentially it's not even worth having your um, core skill reduced by that kind of quantity this is our main damage channel we're pretty much only left clicking to regenerate spirit which will change obviously when we have more points into it objects to regenerate the spirit. Right, here's another traversal. Once again taking us back to where we were. Looks like this is pretty much the last way to go, so we must be heading in the right direction now. Something dropped. Oh no. Can't leave my wolves unattended. Looks like the wolf from the um, like opening portal thing. Like it had a, it looks like it was missing half its face or the skin on it anyway. Relax, no harm will come to you here. Are you sure? This doesn't look like a safe place. Vision of Tristram, always back to Tristram. This is cool, man. if not for me. So it was the wolf from the opening part. Why are you helping me? Oh, it's very simple. You want to stop Lilith, and I want you to succeed. But you'll never do that by following the Horadrim. Huh. Their oh. path always ends in fire and death. What is this? It's like a random spectre. Alright, we're we following this wolf. Seen enough. Open the door. I don't know if I have seen enough. Serious cool. Okay, it's not that big though. We'll move on. Oh, that's disgusting. Game certainly didn't uh, dial back on gore and stuff. Alright. And who are you? Telling me all this to warn you. A day will come when the Haradrim stumble. Don't be there. Haradrim is supposed to all be gone anyway. The portal will lead you to that little girl you're looking for. <laughs> Sounds creepy. Tristram, the Horadrim of old imprisoned Diablo, the Lord of Terror beneath the earth. And then they built this town nearby. <laughs> and why is that funny? You can see how that oh, turned out. That's why it's funny. I like 
make the world the way it was without Lilith. Her little game of rebellion will only lead to chaos. You've already seen visions of the damage. I still have no idea who this guy or what this wolf yes, is. Yes, I know you have fed her blood. Do you feel it changing you? Perhaps not yet. But as long as Lilith walks in your world, it is only a matter of time. Hmm. Interesting. Surely he's going to come up frequently. Back in the Horadrim solution. Right, carry on then. I found it. I think I've lost my way. The same thing happened to my mother and me earlier on. The trail to the vault ends here. We should be somewhere around in these woods. Alrighty. Haradric vault. I wonder if there will be a Haradric cube in this game. If there is, possibly in this vault. Good that the two elites are grouped up. Some susceptible to some AoE. Oh, Three face statue. Oh, I could have sworn there was going to be a cutscene. Devices. What's a silent chest? It is locked. Ah, oh, yeah. So, the whispering keys you can get from a curiosity vendor, which is in. The Haradric Vault. Uh, which you'll find in uh, Kyovashan. Um, unfortunately, we haven't uh, run into any events or anything, so we don't have Murmuring Opals, which is the currency to buy them. Guess means that after this, but I should probably do some side quests and things just to make sure that um, we can unlock chests like that. But let's not give up hope. All we need is one book, one spell to help us cross the Black Lake and stop Lilith. Not a lot of blood, it seems. All oh, right, we just needed the divine blood, right? Sealed shut. Of the passage over there. Oh, of course. Oh, I didn't even see this. Ah. Oh. Quill rats used to be so annoying down there too. Especially when you came across like elite ones and the high difficulties. What is this? Oh, yeah. Just quickly check along all of these. 
Uh, once again, the plus five armor is not worth losing for stats. Do you want to tell us what the idea is? Oh, okay. Ah, it's hungry for an explosion or something. Lock things in. Let anything stop our pursuit of Lilith. I'll open the door, and if we split up, we'll work faster that way. Only if you stay on this side of the door. Fine. Hmm. What am I looking for? Don't you know? A book, a scroll, or anything that will help us cross the black a boat. Dead archer. Probably just upgrade a scale some archers. Didn't look like they were firing fire arrows or anything. Oh, oh we've got normal skeletons in here as well. And burning dead actually seem to have less health. Maybe that's less health, more damage. Now, those things do quite a lot of damage, but they seem to be pretty much immobile. Um, but yeah, they're priority target because they are ranged. Oh, oh there's something there. Does uh, not what we want. Yeah, so it's got damage to close enemies, which we do often have close enemies. It's only 3%, uh, which does not account for the difference in the damage per second. Um, and plus 3.5% damage to healthy enemies. So, healthy enemies, anything over 80% health. Does improve your potential for one shotting. I was assuming there's a healing well, but this has got to be the next area. Or there's a boss. Uh, 
one, so I'll finish clearing this bit out. I misjudged my landslide there, so I ended up casting it on only one thing. That's cool. What's that? Haradric Vault. Well, well, what's through here then? That's where I'm supposed to go. So what's this? Ah. Uh, wait, what? Ah, oh, okay. seem to have any particularly strong abilities, the push was worrying. Oh, that fire all can't be good. I don't know what they do, but I just can't imagine it's good. Ah, okay, so when she teleports, that's when we need to get off to the side so we're not pushed into that oops, brown pool or bluey green pool. Eventually. It's an interesting interaction when she's teleported to the side like that. Cast my landslide. I don't know if it's um, like I just miss clicking every time she's on the edge of the map or whether it um, targets me. Oh, viral. Ooh. I'm sure those didn't explode the last time. Fire orbs up here. Ah, so it does come back while you're still in combat. Oops. Oh, that was very poorly done on my part. Cool. Not ready yet. First time I've seen her teleport inwards and do that. Oh, okay, so those fire orbs keep building up along the sides, and I'm guessing if there's any still around after a certain time that they explode. Alright, hit that stagger bar again, that was great. Well, um, because when she's staggered, I just start dealing more damage with things like the terror modes. Although the terror modes have a 10% chance with every hit anyway. To generate that is. I was a demon guarding that book. I should take this back to Norel. Replenish up potions. So where does the teleporter take us? Risk it for the biscuit. 